Hi, I'm John Reardon. I've been working with leaders and teams for over 20 years to help you expand your capacity to have an impact. Performance discussions are often challenging. Unless you're about to tell a team member that they are getting a huge bonus or their dream promotion, chances are it's going to involve some differing perspectives and probably some mixed emotion. Keep the end in mind. The objective of the performance discussion is to encourage positive contribution and long-term growth. This may necessitate some uncomfortable course corrections, but it should also involve encouragement on the positive and getting them involved in creating a path forward. In this clip, I want to offer just a few tips to help you strengthen your capacity to have effective performance discussions. I hope you find this helpful. First of all, tailor your approach. A performance discussion is not a one-size-fits-all situation. As a leader, be willing to adjust your style and use an approach that best fits the individual staff member at hand. So let's start with the most serious situations. If you are facing a conduct or performance crisis, if this involves a legal activity or if you are talking about a situation that threatens the safety of the individual or of your team, you've got to address it immediately. But don't go it alone. Reach out and contact a qualified HR specialist who will help you identify and take the necessary and appropriate steps. Don't sweep it under the rug or hope that things will just get better on their own. Take action now. For low performers, be firm and direct about required corrections and lay out a path of action to get things back on track. Ensure you clearly communicate the desired changes and both positive and negative consequences. You'll likely want to document a performance improvement plan based on your organization's policies. For most folks, there's going to be a mix of strengths and areas for development. Focus on developing strengths. We live in a fix the weakness culture. Don't ignore the weak areas, but be sure to help your people invest in their strengths. This is where you're going to tap into the motivation and long-term growth. For your high performers, try a coaching approach where you are largely supporting them to chart their own path to the future that they want to create. This self-directed ownership affirms their performance and helps them sustain motivation going into the future. Remember, make this a dialogue, not a debate. Nobody gets a trophy for winning a performance discussion, and you don't want to make your counterpart feel like they are the loser. It's about co-creating a path forward to high performance. Offer your perspective, ask effective questions, and listen. Don't let it become a drive-by feedback session where you pepper them with feedback and send them on their way. Engage your team members in designing a course of action that they can take responsibility for. I hope you found that helpful. Performance discussions can be complex interactions. There are a lot more resources on my website that will help you strengthen your skills and expand your capacity to engage with your team members. It might be hard and it'll probably be challenging. Welcome to leadership.